All right, we should be back, and we have reached the pinnacle of the day, the the main event, which is gonna be Loctar versus Reload. Now, there's been a straw poll in the Quake community, and 67% think that Reload is gonna win this game, and 33% things that Loctar is going to win this game. Of course, this is going to be very biased depending on where you're from. Um, but it's still an interesting take on, on where people are at because this uh, straw poll has actually been uh, all around the Quake community in every region. So, yeah, most people are betting on Reload. Um, Dirtbox and Drax, what do you think? What are your thoughts about this game coming up? Yeah, well, I... Uh... Look, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I I I've got a. I mean, my last prediction was was terrible. Dirtbox, I, I predicted you to win three <clears> one, <throat> and um. But I think I think Reload will, will win. I, I I think that his ability to get both mega health very very quickly, sort of without fail, like you never see him miss that that rocket jump. Like it's very rare. Um, and I think that he, his his aim his rocket launcher aim and predict is 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 slightly, and I say slightly, better than Loctar. So I, I see Reload winning, but but I, I don't see him winning 3-0. Three, three I think it'll be I think it'll be 3-1. I'll, I'll make the same prediction for the Aussie 3-1. But the, the reasons are that, that Mega Health, I mean, I think I counted, he can get both Mega Health in in four, four sec, like three, three and a half seconds, I, I've counted from, from when he gets the one at RA Mega, goes through the tally and then balloons up and, and gets the other one. And um, yeah, so I'm thinking reload. What do you think, Dirtbox? Uh, yeah, look, I've, I've played both of these guys a, a lot on on DM2, and uh, there's a there's one main big difference when you play reload is uh, the fear. You, you press ready, and then there's the fear that you uh, that you face. Like you can't you can't face him in the big room. Uh, no one spawn rates you as hard as him. But that being said, Dennis could be the the perfect counter for him. So it's going to be going to be uh, very impressive, I think. Could you try and uh, speak a little bit closer to your microphone, uh, Marcus, yes, please? Uh, so, yeah, three zero reload. Three wow. zero reload and three one. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's the Aussies coming through there, right there. There is a little bit of bias, but. <laughs> What yeah. do you think, Andy? I mean, have, have you? I, I'm not here I to mean, make we've, predictions. We've always talked it up. <laughs> well, we've talked up reloads down too, and you got you got to see a good proper taste of it with the QCon at home. How did how did what you see compare to what you know the forcefulness of us Aussies saying how good he was? So, um, I do believe that reload has an amazing DM2. But I also know that Loctar has the ability to play insanely well on DM2 as well. And they have similar play styles, so it's kind of hard to know how that's going to match up against each other. But um, if I had to give a prediction, I think it's going to be a 3-0 either way. Like, uh, either Loctar wins 3-0 or Reload wins 3-0. I can't tell who, but I don't think it's going to be a close game. Uh, I, I just don't. I think it's like... It's gonna favor one or one or the other, like their play styles. It's very hard. I'm not here to make predictions. I'm here to do the commentary. You know, it's important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, like, I mean, the amount of times I've I've played Reload on DM2, and what what Dirtbox says is is right. Like, you, he he's just there when you when you spawn, and he can be the other side of of the map. And I mean, everybody sort of knows how to get around DM2 quickly but the the way that th these guys especially playing against reload can can get from quad down to the the tally off the wall and and just never seem to bump into the wall where whereas you know a lot of the other i mean really good players they'll they'll do that and they might they might bump into a wall you know six out of ten times these guys it's pretty much a 10 out of 10 sort of smoothness around the map so um, and there's the fear that the Dirtbox talks about with when you're ready up. It, it's actually incredible. Like it, I jumped in a server earlier in the year when I came back and played a fair bit of Quake, was feeling good, and then when I readied up against Reload and had sort of what would be a, a stock standard easy first kill, it just gets your heart rate up to a point where you you go like I don't know what it is. You, something goes shit. I'm I'm about to 
he'll reload and, and you'll fuck it up or you well, I know that I will, you know, you'll shoot a wall or you'll you know, you'll you'll he'll get you down to a boomstick shot and if you do kill him he, he seems to hunt you down with a boomstick. So it's definitely a um a fear factor when you play him. But I don't I don't think Loctar will, will have that. So shall we get the games going? Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, down, um, I'm just announcing a little bit everywhere. Um, and also chat, help me out. Uh, get the word out. We're about to see Loctar versus Reload. It's never been seen before. They've never played before. Um, make sure to spread the word. We need as many people as possible to watch this game because this is uh, this could be a once in a lifetime kind of thing. So for sure, get the word out there and get people on the stream because I know that people want to see this game. All right, well, I think, are we, are we ready to go? Yeah, let me get into the game and uh, fix some... Some volume on this, and this should be fine. I hope that we can hear uh, Marcus as well when he speaks. Just make sure to speak close to the microphone. And yeah, um, right. Loctar remarking that he's very nervous. I don't know whether that was tongue in cheek, but yeah, this is. I I I have no like I can't even express my feelings about this game. This is so hype. This is so amazing. I can't believe that we're actually gonna see this. I don't even care about the pings, but. Damn, what a game we're about to see. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's All right. Take us away, Andy. They're about to ready up. Yeah, here we go. Loctar says good luck, reload, and reload said good luck, mate. And we're about to get this show on the road. First game out of a best of five on DM2 only. This is gonna be amazing. Re Loctar versus Reload, first time ever. Both kings of DM2. Here we go. Let's see who gets the better spawn. Uh, Loctar is gonna get. Uh, oh, actually, uh, Reload gets the better spawn and is actually gonna charge for the lower rocket launcher, and that's a perfect play from Reload. And that Loctar is in trouble here. He does get the red, but he needs to back away. He needs to find a way to get a rocket launcher. He doesn't have a weapon to his name right now, and let's see if Reload picks up of where he might be. All right, Loctar knows where Reload is now, and now they know where each other are. And here we go, the first fight. And this is the big room that we all warned people you don't want to you don't want to fight reload in the big room. So Loctar um, very intelligently backs off from that area. Now Loctar is no slouch in the big room either, but um, yeah. And someone in the chat says it's like watching Loctar versus Loctar, which is exactly kind of what it is. They have very similar playstyles. And reload that's... totally forgot the rockets then, didn't realize he was out. That was yeah. that's ran, unbelievable. Ran him on with the, oh, took you're him right. On with the yeah, I'm gonna watch reload a little bit, see what happens on this first. Loctar only has a yellow armor, he doesn't have a red armor. So, this is not a fight that Loctar wants to take. And Reload being very silent here, and here comes the first real big fight. And Reload is gonna take the first kill and the spawn frag as well. What a perfect start for Reload. Jeez, you would never see Reload forget to get rockets, so I think the we know enough that there's there's some nerves involved. He also didn't push to low RL after getting that first... Uh, oh, and this is a good fight for Loctar, actually. Pushing Reload back. Reload is going to back off as much as he can, and he managed just to survive this time. Gets the red armor as well. So he's in good shape now, up 2-0. to zero. <laughs> Being as quiet as he can. Where is Loctar? Okay, he's back mega. He has actually a pretty big stack compared to Reload. And here comes a big fight. And oh, another oh, wow. one. Perfect, from, perfect play from Reload. Gets both the frag and two spawn frags on that. 
actually three spawn frags. This is oh, and it's gonna be a fourth one. Oh, th those are some unlucky spawns for Loctar. So that make that seven to zero in favor of Reload to begin this series. Nice. Nice defensive rockets from Loctar denying that rocket jump from uh, Reload, which forces Reload to get this uh, yellow and the mega instead of a red armor. But yeah, we're gonna have a fight pretty soon. I know that Loctar is not one to sit back, just like Reload is not. He's gonna go for the frags, so we might see some pretty high frag counts on, uh, on these DM2s. And oh, that's once again pretty good defensive play from Loctar. Or reload is out for blood. He's gonna back off now to to get the red armor, however, and the top mega. When it spawns in about five seconds. Oh, actually, Loctar is already there, waiting for him. So reload is gonna back off a little bit. It's another rocket from Loctar, and he might be in trouble here. Nice rocket jump to try to get out of harm's way. Reload playing this a little bit cautiously. He has a very, very big lead for being DM2, but with these two players, I want to say that a 7 nothing lead is not that actually big. It's not that big because we know how they play and they're so aggressive, both of them. Oh, He's Reload lucky, taking. Lucky he had the one rocket left there. Yeah, <laughs> one rocket to get out of the lava. I think uh, Loctar is going to have to start putting in some aggression very soon. We're almost halfway through the game. Yeah, for sure. The game's off on the scoreboard. Here we go. This is a big fight. Reload is a little bit low, so he's going to back off. Back away from the fight. Only take the fights that you know that you can win. And just Re early on, seen reload, just miss a couple of a couple of jumps and a couple of pushes, banging into walls. Pretty much the opposite of what I said before. So every prediction that I've made so far has um not come to fruition. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's a lot of bragging rights here, so there's some nerves involved for sure. I know that Loctar is nervous as well. It's probably gonna be good for both of them to get this first map out of the way. Um, because the, the play might change throughout the series when they get a little bit more comfortable and feel each other out a little bit. Doctor has to back away here and gonna rocket jump up as well. Um, I think that might have been a calculated move in order to get the Mega. Yeah, it might very well be. He he's the one that's had control of that mega. And he does indeed have both megas. Yeah, so he's he's gonna want to push. He's he's gonna have to. I think we'll we'll see it very soon. Yeah. I'm sure he's gonna start going for it. I've seen him turn around uh, bigger deficits than this, but Reload has some really good defensive rockets here. Forcing Loctar to restack again, and he's running out of time. And here comes a crucial fight, actually, and Loctar is gonna get on the board with his first frag. Let's see what Loctar does here. He's gonna be aggressive just like Reload was. Oh, ho, ho. And he's gonna get another one, and another one, to make that 7-3 to three in favor of Reload. Now this is gonna get more interesting now. Loctar with a couple of rocket jumps, he wants to find the, the spawn frags. Here comes Reload. He does pick up the, red, uh, the, the rocket launcher, however, so Loctar has to be a little bit careful and respect that. And Loctar is gonna rocket jump over and make sure that Reload doesn't get this red, but he actually does. 
That means the Locter. Yep, yeah. yeah. and he needs to back off to the Red Mega Room. And maybe he can get... Sneak up on the Reload here. Here comes a big fight. And we know that we don't want to fight Reload in big, but Loctar manages to do it this time. And here comes another Rocket Jump, and he's gonna hunt Reload! But Reload does a good job picking up that red... Uh, no, not that red, that uh, Rocket Launcher, which means that Loctar cannot pursue him. But we're down to a three frag game. Loctar bringing this back a little bit. And Reload trying to stay... trying everything he can to stay alive at this point. Nice defensive rockets from uh, Reload there. Forces locked her away again and only- Oh! <laughs> oh my god. He that actually squished locked her. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that doesn't happen often. So that gives the advantage way back to Reload once again. And Loctar actually got his pack in big room and Reload probably won't know that he's uh, got a rocket launcher now. Yeah, that's an interesting trivia, actually. Uh, Loctar doesn't use uh, a script to to change back to his boomstick. So whenever he dies, he actually leaves a pack. And it's specifically for duels, because sometimes it's better. And here comes another fight, but Loctar is going to back off. It's definitely better. Uh, I also don't use a shotgun grip for duels. For that exact same reason. Yeah, exactly. Like sometimes leaving a pack is uh, so important, and you can fool your op opponent a little bit because people are just so used to uh, people uh, to others using a, a shotgun script or something or an axe or just the inbuilt feature in, uh, in the Eastquake client. But yeah, Loctar is running out of time here. Thirty seconds, four frags to get back into this game, but. I want to say that Reload has the first map in the books. Yeah, and Lockdown is he's not even going for it. He knows that he's not going to win this game, so he's going to try to get a, a, a Telefrag here. Oh, and he almost gets it. He's going to get the kill, however, but it's too late to win the game, of course. So the first map is going to go to Reload, 8 to 5. And GG's are called, so that makes it 1-0 to zero in Reload's favor. Now, let's see if, the, uh, if the, the players are less nervous for the second game. Reload calling for a small timeout just to fix his uh, packet loss. <laughs> She's on her hotspot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How Get do you ignore? I keep trying to ignore this spammer, and it's not um not working. We need to find his IP and ban him. I I I just do ignore uh, underscore QTV one, and you you're good. Here we go, map two. Locked out with a pretty bad spawn, but Relo didn't get the best spawn either. Yeah, they both got the uh, two of the worst spawns in the game. Exactly. Uh, makes it pretty even. Loctar is gonna go for the well. Both both megas are actually gonna go to reload. So let's spectate reload for a little bit. He has the upper hand here when it comes to stack. Loctar is gonna try to take this fight, but yeah, he's so he doesn't have the uh, the stack to take that fight. So that makes it a quick two nothing lead for reload early on in this game. And oh my god, what an oh, attack from life. Loctar. Really nice life. attack from Loctar. Making it 2-1. to one. And swapping over to Loctar then. Ready for that one. Loctar quickly took a secret red armor and then rocket jumped out of secret red armor straight down the telly. Yeah. One of those Loctarisms that you don't see anybody else do. Exactly, exactly. Oh, and here comes another frag for Loctar, I believe. Yep, so we're tied at two. And please, everyone on the chat, get your friends into this. Like, we, everybody wants to see this game between Loctar and Reload. Reload currently up 1-0 in the series, in a, this best of five on DM2 only. And this second game, we are tied at two.
on, Doctor. Is he gonna wait for? No. Okay. He's gonna pick up the mega. He would have been probably a bit smarter to wait a few seconds. Yeah, to so, be able to uh, time the other mega, maybe. But um... yeah. So the sound. Um, the, the, the his mega will um, count down twice as fast now. Yep. And the disadvantage of them respawning again at the same time. Oh, they're both so low, but Lockter is going to back up, but he's going to get the red. The question is, is he going to pursue this frag or not? He's going to go back to low, hoping that reload was going to do the same. He's not, though, and that's a patented Lockter move, just ignoring that armor and just going for... Oh! He actually gets the frag there. Makes it 3-2 to Lockter. And another, oh, this is a good start for Reload. Perfect start in this fight, and he's gonna oh, get the frag wow. as well. So we're back tied at three. And maybe this one as well, depending on who hits the frags, uh, I mean the rockets here. Let's see if the uh, top mega health gets any attention. Locked are actually gonna back away from that fight, but Reload coming in relentlessly oh, with the oh, rockets. Right. What a Rocket good frag. Swapping over to Reload now to see what he does. If he can get another frag on Locked here, maybe shoot him down into the lava or just rocket jump and just go relentlessly after him. But he's gonna not step through that teleporter. He's gonna stay and take it a little bit chill. It's remarkable to see how how similarly they play. Their play styles are so similar. So, still six minutes left of this game number two. Reload up one nothing in the series. He's gonna fake that lift. Loctar being a little bit frustrated about something. Probably some rocket jumps or something not working out in his favor. Comes another frag. Probably for reload it looks like. Yep. And a spawn frag as well. That's unlucky for Loctar. And another one. Whoa. These... Oh, oh what? Yeah. Oh, oh, these yep, spawns. Yeah. These spawns for Loctar. They are brutal. I still remember the famous Reppy versus UL game, DM2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you remember that? I do. I still have the demo on my PC as well. There's that rocket jump from Reload that he hardly ever, ever misses. And Lotar is in some trouble now. Five minutes remaining and all those spawn frags actually put him down five frags. So... A reload with both the Megas. Yeah, Lotar needs to make something happen here. <laughs> I once in practice games hid underneath where Reload was hiding there against Loctar and called me a weasel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Loctar nearly, nearly got him then. Nice defensive play from Reload, but he needs to run away now because Loctar might pursue this now. Okay. He actually fools. He, he, has, he has like a... Uh... Oh, here comes Loctar though. Reload needs to be careful here and just run away, to be honest. Which is exactly what he's doing. Lockdown was smart and uh, pushed down path then, instead of going through the teleporter. Yeah. Reload misses that rocket jump. He might... S yeah, that one. He's not gonna miss. It's a beautiful rocket jump from Reload. Jeez, the way Reload turned that around from a defensive position down at, at Yellow... Um, to so quickly get to the low RL and take the red and mega, he virtually reversed the scenario. Yeah, and that's gonna be another- oh, and some more spawn frags. The spawns are with reload in this one, for sure. So Lockto had a nice trap there by waiting at a uh, high RL, and uh, reload was able to knock him off his perch, uh, one rocket. Uh, and actually, I think he won in that fight. Uh, 
This means that High Mega is gonna be up as well, but Reload is not gonna go for that. He's gonna take the fight instead. And oh, he actually gets the frag there on Loctar. That was a little bit surprising. And another spawn frag. This is not looking good for Loctar at all. He keeps getting spawn fragged. Whenever he dies, it's another one for, for Reload or a couple of ones. So Reload definitely with a spawn advantage in this, this one at least. Not in the first one, but this one for sure. A little bit in the first one as well, but uh, yeah, Loctar has a big hill to climb here. According to the KTX stats, the first game they had one spawn for AD. But uh, I, I question how accurate that is. Yeah, I think it lowered, it's lowered to like two seconds, so if you miss the first rocket, it doesn't count anymore. Something like yeah, that. Right. Loctar did get a Not frag, but he's like down that. 10 frags now. Two two minutes remaining. Reload if he plays this smart. There's no way he loses this game. This might be another frag for Loctar, however. Yeah, it is. Now Loctar's turn for some spawns. Yeah, he needs them for sure. So eight frags now. Still two minutes remaining. And with these two players, you know, like eight frags. Eight frags sounds like so much on DM2, but between these two players, you never know. But I find it hard to believe that Lockta can bring this one back. Reload fully stacked, 200-200. Oh, perfect first rocket from Reload, pushes Loctar back and this should be a kill for Reload just because of that first initial rocket. He's gonna rocket jump around a little bit, look for that, those spawn frags. That was uh, not a See, What was interesting there, Reload, um, when Reload got the first rocket on Loctar, Loctar had, had his sights on him far before because he was hiding at low. And he sort of watched him go up the lift, and I think he was going for a sneak, but Reload has just quickly done a 180 and seen him and, and shot him before Loctar even had a shot. And I'm impressed by how Reload hunts the spawn frags, kind of like Loctar does as well. Uh, instead of going for a restack or armors or mega, he just rocket jumps out and tries to get another spawn frag. Try to capitalize on having the advantage. And so far it's been working for him. He goes down there but only 30 seconds, 10 frags between them. So this one definitely going for two reload as well. This is going to be a 2 nothing lead for reload in this best of five. This might be shorter than we expected. But I did say in my prediction it's going to be 3 nothing either way. Like either for reload or for Loctar. And so far it looks, looks like reload is going to get the better of Loctar. Yeah, Loctar knows it, so he's just gonna, yeah, you know, play it out a bit with the, uh, with the grenades. And yeah, let's see, game number really three. Like the, uh, yeah, I'd really like to see. Um, <laughs> I'd really like to see Loctar get an early start, <laughs> um, an early good start against Reload. So we have to see uh, Reload really work for it. But Loctar's not the type of guy who's going to hide anyway. No, for sure not. Here we go. Game number three. Let's see if Loctar can get a little bit better uh, spawns and uh, perhaps not get spawn fried to death as he did in the last game, especially. Reload waiting for him here for the, the, the high RL, not what allowing him to get it. And that's going to be the first frag for Reload. Once again, a good start for Reload. Push. Yeah, Loctar is getting manhandled right here, right now. 2 nothing to Reload in the beginning of this map number 3. So, so far, this playstyle of theirs is uh, definitely favoring Reload. Certainly is. 
I think we've lost Drex. He seems to have gone off on it. Oh, well, that happens. It means it's just you and me, Marcus. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So this map hasn't gone uh, the way I was hoping it would, with uh, Loctite getting an early lead. Oh, oh but well, here we go. He could be turning it around now. Unfortunately, he didn't get a spawn kill. Yeah, no spawn frags. But... Oh, and Reload is going to pursue this frag. Actually, nice play from Reload. I like the idea. But Loctar evades yeah, him this time. He knew that the red armor was not coming in. Once again, a fully stacked reload, so the next fight is going to be very hard for Loctar to win. He only has a yellow armor. Yeah, there's, there's no way in hell that Loctar wins that. <laughs> nice little boomstick frag for reload, and reload is up 4 to 1 in this third game. He's already up 2 to 0 in the series, so if he wins this, it's all over. Dirtbox's uh, microphone is too low. I know, I, I've raised him as much as I can on Discord. I, I cannot do anything more. I'm sorry. Oh, and Reload actually dies to falling damage from that rocket that just uh, <laughs> launched him down into the floor. Into the ground, and he dies from that. So that's a frag for Lockdown. That's going to be important. Reload is going to rocket jump out of there, out of harm's way. Nice yeah. Alright, Drax is back. Welcome back, my friend. Hey, sorry, Discord crashed. It happens, it happens. So reload is Yes, I've this. increased the volume of my microphone. It might be better. We'll see what they say in chat. So reload actually playing this a little bit slow now. Having the lead three to one, it's, da it's a dangerous uh, frag to try and protect. Uh, frag lead to try and protect because two frags can happen so quickly on this map. And we uh, oh, locked right rocket. Yeah. I'm reload in a little bit of trouble here. He needs to keep rocket jumping away and just running away for a little bit. And yeah, he predicted Lockdown to do exactly just that. Nice play from Reload. Is the top Mega up? It probably is, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. It's been up yeah. for quite a while. Not now. Nope, Reload got it, and now it's he's a... fully stacked. He turned around being in the on the back foot, having to play defensively into a... Uh... A double mega complete overstack. Oh, this is not a fight that Loctar can win against this stack of uh, reload. Oh, oh one, one HP! HP. <laughs> and he's gonna get the spawn frag here as well, I believe, unless Loctar makes something happen with this two <laughs> HP this time! What are we watching? So, such close, <laughs> close fights, and suddenly reload is up by four frags. And yeah, that could have gone either way. Loctar had the right idea to try to attack with just a boomstick and get close to close and personal with him, but uh, he still survives with uh, 2 HP on that second one. And Loctar is going for it here. You know, he, he feels that he needs to attack here. I, I can't get... Like that that rocket jump from reload is so beautiful from uh, from the right <laughs> side. There we go, a big fight, a good start for Loctar, and uh, reload is gonna go down here. This is Loctar's chance. Once again, a good spawn for reload. He definitely has been lucky with the spawns uh, so far in this series, not not allowing too many like um, spawn frags, and all of a sudden he's all stacked up again. Four minutes remaining, just three frags, so definitely doable for Loctar, but Reload is in a very good shape. Fully stacked, takes the first rocket there though, so he might have to run away from this fight. He's gonna pick up the red, 
And Lockjaw is relentlessly gonna try and attack, and I, I guess he has to. They're gonna trade frags, and then the respawn. The first time that Lockjaw gets a really good spawn. And here, we, here go. we go! Here we go! Okay, we're tied at five. That's a couple of spawn frags, and Reload is gonna miss that rocket jump, miscalculate his health, and Lockjaw is in the lead for the first time in this series, I believe. And he might get another one here. Exchanging a couple of rockets. Still three minutes though, anything can happen in that span in a three minute window on DM2 between these two players. They're both so aggressive. Lockdar gets the first rocket hit. But reload smoothly gets that uh, that mega, which is actually gonna put Lockdar in a disadvantage. Um, in this fight. So he's trying to decide which way to go. And can he escape? Yeah, he manages to escape for now. He's gonna go that for the yellow instead. Just missed, that rocket just missed reload and it went through the gap in the floor into the lava in that pit. <laughs> From a diagonal position, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think uh, Loctar will be too impressed with himself that he managed to pull that shot off. Because it would have had uh, Reload killed for sure. Loctar playing this a little bit defensively now. Slowing the game down a little bit. Still gonna go for this top mega it looks like. But he still doesn't have a red armor, he only has a yellow. So this next fight could be very dangerous for Loctar. And he is up by one frag, so... I'm sure he's feeling the, no oh. the nerves right now. Did that connect? Yeah, it did. yeah, Loctar wouldn't know that he just pushed reload into the um, lava then. Because um, he, he went away, so he wouldn't have heard the lava noises. On reload trying to make an attack here on Loctar, but Loctar defending pretty well here. Oh, but opts to not go for the red armor. He's going to try to back off again instead. And here comes the big fight. Nice rockets from Loctar and grenades. Oh, but here comes Reload, 41 HP on Loctar. This could be the death of Loctar. Oh! <laughs> Unbelievable. Reload's out of rockets. So is Loctar, both of them are. They're both out of rockets. And Loctar realizes he's got one minute. Is he gonna do the, the camping style here at yellow? He might wow. actually do it. One frag, one minute. And all right, he saw him coming there, and here we go. And once again, a lava That's bath for three reload. Times. Yeah, three times <laughs> lava baths for uh, reload. He survives them all, but it also cancels his assault. And here we go. This is the big fight to probably decide the entire game, and reload oh, is gonna kill him. Oh. And he gets oh, the small no. frag as well. <laughs> And now Loctar is in big trouble. He needs to get a one frag. And he can't do it now. He needs to restack quickly and then take the next fight. But he's gonna go for it. Oh. And here we go. And he gets the frag! <laughs> so there's. Again, he just had a heart attack. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so. Hello, overtime. Yeah. I think we're looking at an overtime here. Well, that's credit to, to Reload for not, not hiding away like he could have. Yeah, for sure. Well, I don't know whether you'd call it credit, because if he now loses the best of five, um, he'll be kicking himself. But um, let's see how we go, hey? Well, oh, uh, and here we go at the low RL. Here comes the fight. I don't think that Lockdown knows that Reload only had a uh, yellow armor. So he could have taken that fight, but, you know, the nerves set in. It's an overtime. Oh no, another! Oh, wow. That's the fourth, fourth lava bath for reload in this game. I can't believe what we're seeing in this uh, map number three. It's the most I've ever seen him miss miss that jump. Oh, 
Oh, this is a dangerous position for Loctar. But oh, actually, he's gonna win this fight with 8 HP remaining just because of all the rocket jumping from Reload. He kind of hurt himself a little bit with all that rocket jumping. So Loctar up two frags in this overtime. One minute and 30 left of the overtime. Jeez, it'd be good to have had a heart rate monitor attached to reload for these. Yeah, and this is going to be a kill for Loctar. It looks like we might get a, a map for at least from the looks of it right now. We still have one minute and 15 seconds remaining. So I don't want to speak too early because frags happen quickly on this map when you have reload and Loctar facing off on it. Loctar for once is going to go for this red, uh, I mean this uh, top mega. And here we go, another big fight. And this one looks to go in favor of reload, maybe? No! The grenades catch him. They connect, and Loctar is actually gonna get the frag. Four frags now, 45 seconds. Loctar, if he plays this smart, he should be able to hold this lead. And I need to drink some water because I'm screaming, boys. Jeez, it's like every grenade of Loctar's is now connecting. Even again, then, two of those hits were grenades. What a game, boys. What a game we're watching. Certainly went up a few notches in that last couple of minutes. And keep in mind, four lava baths for Reload that kind of cancelled every single one of his assaults. And uh, they're going to trade frags there, which is uh, normal when they're equally stacked and you have two equally good players. And here we go. 10 to 6. So, good game. GG indeed. 2-1 to Reload in the series. And here we go, map number four. <clears throat> Whew. All right, here we go. Let's see the spawns. Lockhart gets the yellow spawn, which means he should get this. Oh, and another lava bath from Reload. Is he feeling the nerves, you think? Yeah, I'm not sure. He, he definitely does play on those plates a lot, like when you duel him, he sneaks across them a lot and sort of sits in there, but maybe it's nerves, maybe it's... A, I mean, the, a couple of times Loctar's grenades sort of pushed Reload to have to move back And another one! <laughs> another lava bath already! We're only 30 seconds in and Reload has been in the lava twice. And Loctar takes a quick 3 nothing lead and he's gonna get a fourth here, I believe. It was lucky that Loctar boosted him over the platforms that time. <laughs> yeah, actually, that kind of saved his life. Loctar now fully stacked. Keeping it quiet here. Here comes another fight and Reload is gonna back out. He's gonna back off from that fight. Doesn't want to take it, doesn't, wasn't feeling it. Oh, it takes a little bit of spam from Loctar. Loctar seems to have upped his game a little bit compared to the first two maps. Or first two games, rather. And oh, right what fight. a nice frag from Loctar. That's beautiful. And he's gonna, instead of, go, instead of going for that mega, he's gonna chase Reload down. <laughs> somehow he Reload still, rocket. yeah. Ran out of rockets and uh, Reload survives. Top mega is, should still be up. And now Loctar has the time on the low as well. Ooh. Oh, that's a missed rock and jump, and that could cost him actually. Yep, and Possibly. it does. Pretty decent spawn for Loctar, however, so he's gonna get the uh, the back mega here. Still up Good by. To see for all the friends. falling in the platforms that the uh, the platforms are still functioning as they as they do at the start. <laughs> still the hardest jumping quake and reload is gonna win that fight. So make that two frag lead for Loctar. All right, they both know where each other are now. Reload making... Oh, well, I guess he missed that jump. It sounded like he was uh, rocket jumping up to the high mega, but he wasn't. 
We're gonna swap over to reload. He does have a uh, mega and he has to chase for a couple of frags here. And this should be one. He's got Loctar pinned down, and this is not something that you should survive, Loctar. And he doesn't. A reload. Smart doing... play by reload there. Just to. <clears throat> he hovered under the uh, the quad, waited for Loctar to, to retreat down low, and then made his move to, to trap him. Good play. He, he really got a bit too greedy chasing that then. He left the high mega up and uh, was punished for it. Yeah, it's exactly what Loctar was doing earlier as well, just ignoring that high mega and trying to chase the spawn frags instead. And this time Reload tried to do the same, and this time he got punished for it, just like Loctar did uh, previously as well. But we're spectating. Oh, here comes the fight at low RL. Nice couple of rockets from. Oh my god, and the grenade connecting as well. Reload is in a world of trouble right here. I've never seen a player shoot grenades in off spots so well as Loctar. It's sort of like it's almost he thinks that Reload's going to try to escape and he pops one over there. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness, yeah. Reload is in a world of trouble here. Oh yeah, like planting a grenade. Oh, here we go, another fight. Good start for Reload, but Loctar is gonna win it with another grenade. There, there's something to the grenades of Loctar. They seem to connect every single time. Yep. So reload, giving away another frag. Um, but yeah, that whole like planting a grenade and then shooting your opponent into your previous grenade, that is something that Loctar does and it's kind of weird how he does it, but he makes it work. Reload being pushed back again, gonna go for this secret, secret red. Of course he needs to try to get a couple of frags here to get back into this game. He still has five minutes and it's only five frags so absolutely doable with the spawns that we've had in this series and here we go here's the big fight and reload should be winning this from the looks of it and he is and maybe a small frag. I had uh, both megas then as well yeah and a spawn frag make that three frags oh nice oh. Defensive rockets Insane defensive rockets from Loctar, denying Reload another spawn frag. So Reload is gonna wait here for the secret mega, he's still down three frags, but we still... Feels like this game has been going on forever, but we still have 420 to go. Loctar happy to play the long game now. Oh, he has no idea. Locked, uh, reload is right on his tail uh, and he has him. no idea. He's gonna be trapped here. And here we go. This should be a reload frag. Oh, he actually survives for now at least. But he should be going down. No! Oh. <laughs> he actually survives. And reload needs to restack on some armor here before he takes the next fight. Oh no, he's gonna take another lava bath. Oh, uh, there's something about the lava and reload in this series. Once again, oh, no, no. Locked once again, he get out of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Reload once again, ignoring the high mega in favor of trying to take the fight. Uh, somehow he survived there. He only had like 20 HP, but he survived. The element of surprise that both of these guys put into their games is just incredible to watch. Absolutely. And they have such similar playstyles, it makes for such good games. And this is a big fight that Reload should win. Make that two frag lead for Loctar. Three minutes remaining, and this is another one. Oh, Seven to eight. Wrong way there. But I think he just picked up a pack. So he's got a rocket launcher that uh, Reload won't know about right now. Oh, but he's going to have him trapped down here again. Once again, the same situation. Loctar, oh. Loctar once again, actually... <laughs> makes it out of there somehow some way he survives that fight i don't understand how he slips in that situation it's so hard to do when you get trapped down there it's very hard to to get out of there but reload is going to be fully stacked with double megas and a red armor here the next this fight is not something you can win loctar this is going to be a, an even game 
We're tied at eight. Two minutes remaining. What a series. So let's see, who has the bigger balls here? Who wants to actually make the... Make the effort and try to get that ninth frag because uh, with only two minutes remaining, like you don't really want to take risks, but at the same time, it could pay off. So 20 seconds until the megas, which will both spawn at the same time for an epic finish. Oh. Here we go, this is a big fight and Reload is in the lead in this fight at the beginning at Push. least. But here we go, maybe Loctar turns oh. it around and he's gonna get a spawn frag as well. So Loctar getting two nice frags, but there's a pack waiting for Reload, so they're gonna trade frags with that pack that Reload picks up. Remember and Dirtbox doing an instructional video <clears throat> about pack maintenance and clean up your packs. Oh, what a nice attack from Reload, but it's not gonna kill Loctar, it only brings him very, very low, so Reload is gonna restack on this high Mega instead, and get maybe a yellow? No, he's gonna go for the reds instead, probably the red Mega Room, and get all of this back here once they spawn. The Mega is about to spawn in two seconds, I guess he didn't have the timing on that, but he needs to look for frags, he's down two. Oh, that's gonna push Reload back, he's gonna have to restack again, no, Loctar playing the slow game here. What a series we're getting to see! I love this! And everyone in the chat, the, the score is currently 2-1 to one in favor of Reload, and yeah, nice defensive play from Loctar. We're gonna have a deciding DM2 map between these two. There's no way that Reload brings this around in 10 seconds. We're gonna have a decider. Bring your friends, tell everyone that you know, that knows anything about Quake. We're gonna have a deciding map on DM2 between Reload and Loctar. What a series, what a series. Get everyone on the stream, get everyone here, mate. This is some great stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I said 3-0 in uh, favor of someone, but I was completely wrong. We are tied 2-2, two to two. this is the deciding match. Whoever wins this, wins fame and glory and the bragging rights of being the best DM2 player. Here we go, three, two, one. One. Oh, weird spawns actually, Loctar has to go for low here. He would have heard Reload drop down, so he knows Reload's gonna try to come grab that rocket. And I really hope that we could get like a winner's interview with whoever wins this last game. I would love to see one. And uh, Loctar actually trying to trap Reload up there. And this is going to be a good first fight for Loctar. Reload actually manages to slip away. But is he going to survive? That is the question. Yeah, Loctar is going to let him live for now and go back and restack on his own. But Reload is on the hunt. Reload is going for it. And Loctar is going to suicide. What a good start for Reload. Maybe he gets a spawn frag here as well, and the lava bath for both of them. Oh. And what a perfect start for Reload. I think Reload counted Loctar's rockets then, from, from the start. Either that or he just cottoned onto the fact that Loctar was retreating. I look away for one second, and there's a fire frag deficit. Yep. That was a crazy first minute. Actually thought Loctar would have that, but he went a little bit too aggressive, and then Reload just turned on him and uh, went all in on him, and it worked out for him. Here comes another fight. He's gonna win this, and they're gonna trade frags. Where do they spawn? Okay, opposite sides of the map. So we're still at a five frag difference. Still very early on in this on this map, of course, and Reload. Maybe just waiting for the Mega or trying to slow the game down. I'm not sure. Oh, once again, all those grenades connecting with Reload. It's something about Loctar's grenades. And once again, Loctar trying to spam those uh, 
grenades, but Reload is gonna run away and survive to fight another day. Loctar missed the uh, the forward rocket jump then to, to chase him, landed on the nail gun. Yeah, and since Loctar has to chase, I'm gonna swap over to Loctar and see what he does. How is he gonna go about turning this around? Oh, he heard a reload just then. Oh, nice trap from Loctar, but only gets one rocket in, so that that is not enough. Oh, great shot. Loctar misses the rocket jump up to the high mega, but he's going to do it on the second try. Six minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Still a five frag difference and it all happened pretty much in the first minute. So the last three minutes have been pretty, pretty slow. Loktar's got to go on the mad hunt here. Yeah, he has to. This is the, oh, nice. First initial rocket knows that he cannot really pursue that fight, but he's going to rocket jump around the map and maybe trap him down here. Is he going to? Yes, he is, and he's gonna get the frag as well, so that brings him a little a, a step closer to reload and gets another one here. Does he get any more spawn frags? No, not yet, but he's still gonna go for it with a crazy rocket jump. Nice. A double rocket jump, so now only down to two frags. My goodness. Loctar waiting for this mega. So chat, who do you think is gonna win? Type either Loctar or Reload in the chat right now. We want to see who do you think is gonna win this. This is gonna be so close. Give us your predictions. Loctar about to have both mega health again. A lot of people thinking reload, and uh, yeah, here comes Loctar with his uh, patented, uh, you know, gathering nails to be able to attack Red Mega without making a sound. Halfway mark. Only two frags. And what is reload doing? He's chilling in Red Mega. Here comes Loctar, he's gonna attack now. It doesn't make a sound. But Reload is actually out of there. This is dangerous territory though. You don't really want to play this game against Loctar or Reload. When, when you're up, it's very hard to defend against them once they decide to attack you. So, this could still go either way. <laughs> Only two frag difference in the deciding good. map. Some really good defensive damage reload did there to knock off Loctar's mega health. For sure. Reload looks like he's going to push here too. Oh yeah, and Loctar has no idea, so he got completely blindsided by that. Loctar is going to have to slow down here and pick up this red before he can do anything else. And here comes the big fight. This is going to decide a lot. And Rock Loctar doing one of his rocket jump tricks mid-fight. And they usually work out, but he's in trouble now. Down to 16 wow. HP. They were Don't both one rocket away from uh, getting killed there. Yep. Yeah. Loctar is pinned down up here at high mega and reload is fully stacked. This is not a fight that Loctar wants to take. Nice rocket though from Loctar. Oh, is he actually gonna that win that? Wow! How Very did he just turn indeed. that fight around? I 
didn't think there was a chance in the universe that Loctite would win that fight. He should have died three times over there. Yeah, for sure. Just put himself up in the air, made himself hard to hit, and he was fortunate enough to hit reload up into the air himself, and flipped it on him. He also got a bit of splash damage on reload in the air when he flipped, uh, when he hit him up. So make that a 3-2 to two lead for reload and two minutes remaining. So what is reload doing? He's going to camp at Red Mega. Loctar is going to be fully stacked with both Megas. And this is tense. One, oh, oh nice. Wow. Right, shot. right in the schnoz. <laughs> I don't think... Oh, Loctar is going to go aggressive here with the rocket jump. Is this going to work for him? He's going to have to back off here. He can't Ooh. even rocket jump here. He's That's trapped. Him, he's trapped. He cannot rocket jump here. He has too little HP. Does Reload realize? No, he's actually gone to, to Secret Red. So, Loctar is going to survive the fight another day. But only 1 minute and 30 seconds remaining and 1 frag difference. Loctar waiting for the Megas. He could get the top one as well if he wanted to. But he's actually going to try oh. to get this fight instead. That rocket of Loctar has just missed. Oh. Loctar has to back off. One minute on the clock. And I know that the players are feeling it right now. The, the nerves. 55 seconds. One frag. Loctar is going to wait for this Mega and then he's probably going to go for it 100%. We're about to see possibly the biggest push in DM2 ever attempted. Oh, and Loctar knows where he is and here we go. He's going to do everything he can to win this fight, but Reload is probably going to escape through the teleporter. And now Loctar has 25 seconds to go, and here comes the fight. This is going to be the deciding fight, but no! Loctar is going to back off. He only has 20 seconds now. He needs to go for it. He needs to go for it. 15 seconds. And here we go. Here comes the last fight of the game, probably. But Loctar once again has to back off and misses the rocket jump. And here we go. Oh, he's he's oh! <laughs> Five seconds remaining, but no, it's not going to happen. Reload is going to win the series. And oh my god, what a finish. What a finish. We're gonna... Oh my goodness. What a game. That's, that certainly didn't disappoint. No. Certainly no, did don't. not. And that last little fight at low. Oh my god. That could have gone either way. So Reload is gonna take it 3-2 to two in games. And he remains unbeaten on DM2. Um, but what, what a series. What a series. Give me, oh, well, give, that, me your, yeah, give me your that, thoughts, brothers. Oh, I'm speechless. You can go, Dirtbox. Yeah, well, uh, I think um, Loctar really stepped up his game. In the first couple of games, he, uh, he looked like he was a bit out of his depth. Uh, and in the next two games, he really stepped it up. And I, I think I said at the beginning of the third match, I hoped that he would get a, a lead and we would have to see Reload push. And that did actually happen then in... Uh, later in game three and again in game four and that always uh, proves uh, provides uh, quite a bit of entertaining gameplay But uh, with the deciding map it was uh, always always going to be the case that the... And a 3-2 scoreline. I mean Very low scoring for, for two very aggressive players. I think that's testament to the uh, the quality that we just witnessed yeah, and let's not forget that in the first minute of that last game, Loctar went down five frags uh, just in the first minute. And then he came back, but couldn't quite capitalize on that last frag, which was so close. Can you believe that this series actually ended 3-2? The last game ended 3-2, and they <laughs> almost traded frags in the very, very last seconds of that game. That is some, some amazing stuff. Um... Well, they're going for map 6. No, this is just a DM2, DMM4. So this is just for fun. Oh. I'm, um... <laughs> oh, well, I think we all got what we uh, what we wished for there. 
Absolutely. And um, yeah, what a series. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get a reload interview. Probably not. But uh, oh my goodness. A reload is still undefeated on DM2. Uh, at least throughout an entire series. Loctar did a good job trying and he was one frag away. Um, yeah, I'm speechless. All right, they're playing this DMM4 for the fans. Okay, let's let's watch it. Let's watch it. I'll, I'll give it to you guys. Yeah, well, this is the the ultimate warm up. I mean, we how many big room fights did we see? I, I sort of get the feeling we we saw far more fights at, at water and at the the low RL than we than we did in the big room. Which, um, yeah, I think Loctar probably made a point of. of avoiding big room fights, but the, the big, big room fight that Loctar won, which turned that last map sort of back around of when he did that rocket jump. Um, yeah, when, when Dirtbox remarked that he, he should have killed him three times. Um, yeah, it, it's just awesome. It's just next level, and especially the ending of that um, last DM2, where, you know, you've got Loctar at the low RL. He could have rocket jumped up and gone through the tally, and Reload was aware of that, and he sort of hovered the, the platforms and made a call to, to hammer back across the platforms and escape and Loctar was there waiting for him. So it's just it's just so fast paced and um, two very intelligent, very good players. Yeah, I think what we can right. take out of this, this series is that they are both incredible at this map. Um, Reload getting the better of Loctar in this game, but as we saw on the last map, he could have gone either way. Um, just two amazing DM2 players, both of them, and what a show they put up for us. Um, I can't thank them enough. And for the fans uh, who wants to watch this, this is just a DM, DM2 DMM4, which means only big room fights. And uh, actually, Loctar is winning this one from, by the looks of it right now, even though he's against Reload, which uh, is a little bit surprising, I guess, but yeah. This is just for the fans, but yeah, the series ended 3-2 to two in favor of Reload. Everything will be on YouTube, of course. Spread the word. Everybody needs to see this. Um, yeah, it was a great series. They, they gave us everything and a, and a bit more. Yeah, and thank you to yourself, Andy, for casting it and um, helping promote it and everything like that. Um, hopefully, you, you get some sort of records on your stream in terms of viewers. And don't yeah, forget uh, that you've also got some uh, four and four games coming up. Absolutely, I'm gonna before we end this. Uh, yeah, okay. So Loctar won this uh, little little uh, bout, but uh, okay, let's tab out again and uh, turn off the volume. Um, they can keep playing, but I'm not gonna stream that anymore. So we're gonna end the Loctar versus Reload segment of today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that and. Um, yeah, what a series, what a series. Like, any last words from you guys? We'll start with you, Drax. What do you think? Oh, I'm just completely satisfied. I think I need a bit of time to, to take all of that in. That was just, that was awesome. What about you, Marcus, Dirtbox? Yeah, look, I I, um, I think actually uh, really well done to Loxar. Uh, he, he did, I, I don't want to say that I'm biased, but he actually did a lot better than uh, I thought. And, he, and after... A really tough loss in game two. We actually really turned it around in game three and uh, really gave, uh, and that was the difference. We we all got really quite the spectacle. Yeah, we for sure did. And um, yeah, they they definitely gave, gave us everything and, and more. Like uh, we couldn't ask for more. And to have a finish like that with a 3-2 lead uh, in a th in a in, in a deciding game that that's amazing, but let's take a look at the rest of the day because we have more games coming up. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty uh, lengthy break now, however. Uh, but then at 11 p.m. Central European Summer Time, that is. In how many hours is that? Uh, well, it's gonna be 7 a.m. Uh, uh, Australian time. Okay. So I seven, certainly won't be awake for that. Yeah. So it's going to be 11 p.m. Uh, Central European Summer Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S., 
and 7 a.m. Uh, Australian time. We're going to have UK, Ireland versus Portugal in a 4 and 4 showdown. And right after that game, we're also going to have UK, Ireland versus the North American team who just beat the Australian team earlier this morning. Um, and that's going to be at 1 a.m. Central European summertime, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. And it's going to be 9 a.m. Australian time, so in the morning for you guys. All right, so let's close this segment. And uh, yeah, congratulations to Reload. Remains undefeated on DM2. Good show from both of them. Great players, both of them. What an amazing series, and I hope that we get more of those. I hope that Reload signs up for Dual Mania Worldwide whenever that happens, and that we might get to see another one of those. I would love to see that. Alright, so for now, thank you very much, Drax and uh, and Dirtbox. Thank you for joining me in this cast, and Thanks, I will... Andy. Yeah, and I will be back later on. We're going to take a break now, but then later on, we'll go again with the Forum Force. So stay tuned for that, and thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series just as much as we did. I have lost my voice. I'm going to go drink some syrup or something. Um, and yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Ciao.